Welcome to Around the Pound. I'm your host, Casey Trot, and this is your source for Bulldogs news. Bulldogs commit Pierce Messer and Ethan Zhang. Trig Strand and the Golf Griffins win the 2017-18 Frosty Mug. Hunter Stewart moves up to fourth in all-time points at Marion University. Bulldogs billets were honored when each player presented them a photo in a frame. Thank you, billets, for your kindness and generosity. Spencer Horner came to our team just a short time ago while spending time in Santa Arm and West Florida before coming here. He has amassed a 100 games in this great league. The Bulldogs organization and our very own alumni, Tyler Well, would now like to present Spencer A. Black to honor his historic milestone. Congratulations to Spencer Hora! Jamie Amos wins a silver medal in his figure skating competition. Connor Lacouve is named WCHA's Goaltender of the Month. Bulldogs players took part in Catholic Schools Week at John Paul II School. The best fans in the BCHL helped to raise over $800 for the Canada Cancer Society. Uh, my fondest memory is, is way too long. It's not just one. I couldn't pick just one. Uh, I had, uh, you know, still have goosebumps when I think about Andrew Ella scoring a, a double overtime goal here against Nanaimo in, uh, well, uh, a matchup of one and two teams in the country that were uh, an hour apart from each other for an 18th consecutive win. Uh, the Bulldogs won the next day. They beat Salmon Arm here. Uh, kind of coupled with that was when the, the game was over, the crowd had started about eight or nine games previously, counting in unison uh, the amount of wins in a row. And, uh, well, the really cool thing about that in the Nanaimo game was uh, we were all waiting for it because it had happened for, you know, four or so games already. And uh, it was an overtime goal, so half the crowd was still partying and celebrating, and half the crowd started counting, and it kind of... You know, half the crowd didn't do it, and it was kind of a mess, and it was kind of a letdown that, oh, we're not going to see this crazy count, and then they actually stopped and did it all over again with the whole entire rink. That was uh, pretty neat. That's a memory. Um, later on in that year, Aaron Shepard scored a triple OT playoff winner that was the longest game in Bulldog history. That one was memorable just because, uh, well, it's no game that long since or before. Um, the road winning streak that went from November to round two of the playoffs in 2009-10 was was incredible and uh, throw that in with the playoffs of 12-13 where the Bulldogs were reverse swept the Clippers uh, and won in that building and uh, the next series uh, Marlon Sabo's overtime winner uh, in game four in a must-win game followed by Mac Barton's uh, island title goal the next night. Huge smiles were written on the faces of the Special Olympics athletes at Rainbow Lanes when the Bulldogs bowled with the athletes. The athletes raised over $3,800. Way to go, athletes. And a big thank you to the Alberni Valley Bulldogs for coming. Congrats to Cole Paluziani on playing his 100th game. This player played in 275 regular season games and 33 playoff games between 2002 to 2007. He is tied for first in franchise history with 87 goals and his 160 assists and 247 total points are Bulldog records to this day. Also, his six goals in one playoff game also still stands today as a BCH goal record. After his time in the Bulldogs, he spent time at Wayne State and UBC before playing professionally in Mississippi, Missouri, and in the Netherlands for a short time. He has just recently married and is a BC Forest firefighter with aspirations to be a full-time firefighter in the near future. You can also find him using his foot wedge on the golf course in his off time. Ladies and gentlemen, hailing from Port Alberni, BC, a product of Alberni Valley Minor Hockey, please welcome home.
come forward to be part of the ceremonial face-off. Thanks to all those who came out to the pre-game barbecue on February 17th, to the Blue Marlin Inn for lending us the barbecue, to the food donations, to Isaac Tonkin Palmer and Julian Benner for interacting with the public, and to our cook for cooking. Congrats to Drew Blotman and the Northeastern Huskies on winning the Bean Pot Tournament. I am Casey Trot, and thanks for tuning in to Around the Pound.